just we do want to move away from implementing models um you know and that and that is going to be right considered as as we as we look at 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 um at proposals obviously i think this is really something i would i would like to see done um you know because this so this i mean this is yeah this is a very interesting um you know this is an interesting uh um model right um this and, and the one that's here this is all very outdated at this point um so yeah I've you know you'd want to go look for that. yolo four yeah. or five or whatever the hell they're on now <laughs> um but uh yeah i mean i think it would be really cool uh but let let's also keep in mind you know the fact that we have a lot of models um and that you know this is definitely still something that that we want right um you know sakshom's been doing a lot of stuff in the image space um but you know, the more the more the merrier, right? Um, just just you know, keep in mind what you combine it with, right? To create sort of a holistic right. Um, picture, right? Absolutely. You know, the and and the thing to really keep in mind here is is the more that 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 gets seen by end users, the better, right? So so Sakshama has done a really nice job with uh, with with all of the stuff that he did last year or last summer. Right, so that that was that was a good job of tying in all the the work and the tutorials and the examples got tied in really nicely, right? So there was there's a lot of explanation and it, and it you know and end users can see what the hell's going on there, right? Um, so keep that in mind, right? As as you're thinking about this, right? So the, so that combined with a really good usage example, um, you know, is much stronger than just let me implement the model. Yeah, when I say uh, I want to implement the model, I mean the entire package, the everything from the tutorials to the examples, Great. Uh, to the use cases, the console desk, everything. Awesome. So yeah, and that, just on that note, to repeat it, so free fill to feel free to propose whatever anything for GSOC, uh, just make sure you, um, you know, uh, propose a project that, uh, you know, uh, that is doable. I yeah, guess. yeah, <laughs> that's, that's doable. And, um, you know, has uh, targets educating end users um so if you implement something make sure you're showing showing uh during planning. so make sure you're planning on doing a lot of work to explain how to use it um you know demos etc right so i don't know i mean so for example with yolo um i mean that's a video it's a it's you know the 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 cool the coolest part is the the video part yeah. of it right and so you 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 would need to do a lot of thinking about okay how do we how do we deal with videos because sorry so um yeah, so Aksham had to do a lot of work to figure out how do we deal with images, right? And, and videos are going to be sort of a whole nother beast here. Um, and um, yeah, so it's going to be, that's, that's you know, the, the project is probably more, you know, introduce videos, right? And this is one of the models, right? Um, if you go that route, which is definitely, a, you know, a good project, right? Um, uh, but you're going to want to do a lot of background research on, on what the hell is going to need to happen there. Um, and likely, yeah, you need to be very, very sure of what you're going to do. Yeah. Um, and, and this may, I don't know, depending on how things go here, we, we may require some sort of architectural changes because I'm not, I'm not ex exactly sure. Right. So are, are we, you know, would we be treating a record as a frame, you know, within the video or would we be treating a record as, you know, the video itself? um eat and then you know do we have different ways to access the content of the video are we loading the whole thing into memory do we support streaming the record or you know streaming the video right from from one aspect uh if you think about it you know a, a, a video you know it may make more sense 
to have each frame be a record, right? Sort yeah. of the, the way yeah. things are set up right now, right? It would it would probably be easiest to do each frame as a record, right? And then the source, you know, is actually the video itself. Now, I don't know how well that translates, right? Um, or, you know, I don't, I don't know how, how, I don't know if that's, that's such a great idea, right? When you, when you think about training, you know, various models and stuff, um, because we have, there is something that, that we have right now where, where the sources will combine all the records, you know, if you do multiple sources. So you would need to, um, you, you would, you would then need to, we have a prerequisite then on, uh, sources and, and making sure sources take arguments and some of that is prerequisited on some config changes um, and so um, there's a whole there's a whole mess of things here right and you need yeah you need to make sure that you really know what you're proposing here right um, so do do some groundwork um, and and think think you know long long about um, what 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 goes into that right yeah exactly how the background stuff is going to work yeah yeah, yeah cool by by doable I, by doable i meant that you need to look at it from dffml's perspective right so my uh, advice would be to um, do a lot of background research and try writing a proposal on it before FML into perspective while writing the proposal and see if it's really doable. I think you might have cut out there a little bit, Saksha. So I was saying that by doable, by doable, I meant that you need to see it from DFFML's perspective. And my advice would be to write a new uh, proposal, a draft proposal beforehand uh, by after doing your research and put DFFML into perspective like how the structure will work uh, using DFFML and how you will train and do everything with that model. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll try and do my research and uh, like show you guys what I come up with. All right, great, good. I'm glad we talked about this. This is a good one. Um, and this one, you know, is is. <laughs> Yeah, this is a challenge, right? So, so Saksham's project, you know, was essentially implement, uh, you know, image support, you know, at a, at a high level, um, and and then also there was a bunch of other stuff that was attached to that, right? And that and there's a shorter time span this this year. Now, now Saksham also did operations and other things, right? This would sort of be, in, you know, video support and models. Now, it might require more architectural changes. Um, because of, uh, you know, sort of what I'm envisioning here, there might be some, some, I'm envisioning a situation where we need to support some kind of asynchronous um, additions to the rec. Sorry, what? Yeah, uh, well, some kind of asynchronous, uh, asynchronous methods within the record class, right, um, is sort of what, what I envisioned the, the, the worst case scenario here being. Um, and uh, well, you know, actually, I guess that may not be a worst case scenario. So here's 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 one way that this might go, right? Is you have features, right? And you have feature data types, right? So in the event that a feature data type is some kind of video frame, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, we might need, uh, you know, we might be able to declare that. Okay, let's see. How do I explain this? Um, if we treat a record as a video, right? And if, 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 yeah. So if we look at, there's, yeah, you need, you need to, I think you need to go through and, and sort of like come up, look at the way that it's, it's been done before in, in various different, you know, in various different projects. Um, and think about, you know, what do I want to treat? a frame as a record or a whole video as a record is sort of the main question here. And then if I want to treat a whole video as a record, which I kind of have a sneaky suspicion that that may be the, you know, that's kind of the I worst think, case, but I maybe think, need, yeah. maybe is what's going to happen. I think, no, the way uh, we could, this is just something I, uh, I'm saying after seeing uh, the things, the way things are currently being done. What we could do is we could treat uh, treat each frame as a record instead of 
treating the entire video as okay. one single record and then we could proceed from there because that yeah. will be more convenient uh because that will be more convenient for me to implement the model well you that's for the end user to see the result yeah so but but that's not that's not sort of the goal here right the goal is not convenience to implement right the goal the goal is is you know sort of moving forward right we have to we our 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 role here is to provide you know a library of models right and, and that work that work you know equal like sort of that that provide a pretty uniform approach across the way that you use them all right um and so the the goal is to really have a firm understanding of you know what does it look like you know what what does this look like as i use videos with the ffml does this record you know as frame concept sort of hold is is there a place where this breaks you know our our our, our methodology right um because if if there's a place where this breaks we need to find it out now right we need we need to find it out now and not find it out later right because the once once we figure it out writing models is should be easy right the 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 hard part that we're trying you know the main hard part that dffml is trying to solve is trying to figure out okay how do we make things work across different models right in in a similar way right so and that's that sort of needs to be the the key thing when we go to approach this problem right and and so the the research the research on on record is frame versus record is video is the most critical part of this project um anyways i just yeah i'll leave you with that and then and then and then please let us know you know what you find if you're interested in pursuing this and you know i think i think that the the, the biggest piece here is you know uh examples um how think about think about how this would work with yolo uh and how this would work with other models that deal with video right so let's i guess you know i you probably you know you may have done some research i have not looked at this in a long time so let's have a let's have a conversation with some examples at some point and we can schedule that one on one or we can um uh or we can we can talk about it in this meeting i think your biggest roadblock would be the timeline because i also forgot about the reduced timeline this year All right. Uh, am so, I not ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I was yeah. 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 I was ready. Um yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah. So, um uh, make sure you take timeline into account. Um so examples uh we can talk about this in the meeting or schedule time with mentors. Okay. Okay, so Okay, let's make let's make sure we have some examples uh maybe with some pseudocode right so um you could adaptions of model classes um so just and what i mean by that it's sort of okay hey i looked at the yolo you know some yolo code i looked at some uh, you know some other code and here's what you know the implementation of a train method might look like um but not actual code just pseudo code um and i guess you know this would be sort of your proposal right yeah, yeah. but we we would need yeah. to workshop this beforehand because if we get to the point where we're accepting proposals and it doesn't look you know like this works then we can't you know we can't we can't we can't accept the proposal right so yeah yeah right. 
um i'll get this to you as soon as possible uh, as soon as i get some research done on cool. this entire Great. thing and i mean i think this is a really you know this is definitely a really strong one right um but uh we do need to make sure that um you know it's not up there because there's less clear of a path <laughs> so um let's yeah. see yeah, I, that's why I took it down was because it's just um, I think yeah I removed the GSOC label six days ago because there's just a lot of uh, ambiguity involved here. Um, so you do you definitely have to um, you know be ready to figure those things out. All right. Um, okay. So. Um, all right. So is there anything else you'd like to talk about today, Shaw? Uh, yeah, the update method, uh, if possible. Could you have a look at it? Uh, uh, what about the update method? Sure. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, in that, in that uh, it, data flow or the yeah. data frame source. Yeah. Okay, and what do you want to talk about there? Just sort uh, of deeper. Are you looking just, to debug? No, uh... I've done something, okay. and, and I'm pretty sure I screwed up somewhere. Okay. All right. We'll 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 table that, and we'll when we'll look at it then. Um. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll um I'll send the code on the chat, and uh, okay. you can have a look uh, sometime later. All right. As great. In it's not urgent right now. All right. Great. Yeah. And and also, um. So yeah, so if you can send if you can send code like uh, so, I noticed you you sent it via pasteband. That's fine. Um, if you send it via gist, then you know then I can send you a delta, right? And and then I can then it's more clear what the changes are that you know might be there. So if you if you make a gist of code, uh, if we happen to be and this goes for everyone, you know, if we're sharing snippets of things, a gist is a super nice way to to do that um, because then um, you know we can fork it and and do edits and send the exact series of edits you can see uh, more clearly okay, so so i think it'll help us do clear communication there um Definitely. all right cool. thank you yeah uh thank you all right so nitesh um what would you like to talk about today i see your h2o model is up there i haven't gotten a chance to review it yet yeah it's it's done uh i, I have solved this issue all right uh that loading and saving the model in h2o nice oh great yep Actually, I have talked on the Gitter of the H2O. So they, they, they suggested a method that you should use the H2O save model and load. All model. right. <laughs> Sounds right. Yeah. Instead of job lib and people, all those things. Because okay, uh, right now they are working on it, but uh, not in a release version. So. All right. Great. So, they use Gitter too. Cool. Um, so, is there anything? Let me just see. So, is there? Is this commented? Have you commented this? Okay, we don't need this file. So. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we are we doing this? Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, all right, yeah. Um, all right, so this is this is a dumb nitpick, but um, we try to keep everything consistent and. Um, just capitalizations on the first letter of comments. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, because like here and stuff. Um, just consistency is, is, is 
Always good. Okay, so optic records sealed them to the clock. Data frame, pandas data frame to H202. Oh. Oh. That's list, predict. All right, this is yeah, this is pretty clean. I don't know. I think this is a good amount of comments here. Um, let's see. So we're still doing, I, I noticed this is a common thing. We've done this in the Scikit API too. So so we have to convert them to, what's, what's the reasoning behind why we have to convert them to arrays here? We're just doing that? Or like, you know, what, what, why are we converting these to arrays if they're not arrays? Okay, I'm um, just looking at high level here, so... Da, da, da. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so we might wait on this until after... So I might wait on this until after we've gotten... I want, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to wait on things until after we've gotten this... Yeah, I think we're going to wait on things until after we've gotten the uh, the setup config stuff merged, and then we, we need we may need to to uh, um, we may need to we'll probably need to update these PRs that are open to to move to the setup config stuff. Um, so test me. Okay, yeah, I think these are all the only comments I have on here, other than the fact that you know we're we're gonna we're gonna wait to merge this until this guy is sort of our our key thing right now um, to make sure. Um, so this guy, and then basically this is I think this is our gating factor on oops on uh, uh, on uh, you know a lot of the our release blocking issues here. So gonna upgrade this. Um, I'm going to do the version pinning that was required, and then I'm going to remove the. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna accept this pull request because this is what we needed. Um, let's see who is this? This guy. Get, get Nash. All right. Yes, this guy has been very helpful. Um, and um, then hopefully, and then I get need to remove Conda because the Alpha Pi people. Um, recently put Dalphin Pi on PyPy. So everything we need is on PyPy now. So we can rip out Conda, um, which I think is causing this stupid CI failures right now. Um, and let's see, this is like, this one is tagged like this. Um, and uh, there's this there's this stupid, you guys have seen this stupid thing where Otto SK Learn is complaining about NumPy. I'm not sure what the deal is, but I, have to, I think it has to do with Conda and Conda's NumPy um, because it's only happening on docs and container which have Conda, or I think which are installing Conda a specific way, and I don't know. But we're going to rip it out. We're going to see if all this fixes it. And then we're going to go back and we're going to look at these pull requests that are open. Um, and we're going to see if any of them need updating to this setup.config style stuff, um, which is in this PR. So I think this one, you know, here's a few comments for you. Um, uh, and that will be, I think, you know, here's it's a few things, a few things to do right now. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know if we need this file. I think we can remove this. Um, we don't need this file. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll wait on um, uh, before merging 
this uh, we need to and then also you know we have that one thing with the uh, uh, part of that that light GBM is that um, um, the uh, pinning stuff as well so you know that that stuff all needs to get wrapped up I think these ones are gonna wait till the 4 point uh, 0 point four point one which pretty much if everything goes well with 4.0 that'll just be immediately after um, because uh, basically the way that the compliance stuff works is I can release them, you know, um, in quick succession if I just have. Um, so just so you guys know. Um, so we'll wait on permissions. We'll uh, need to update this and like gpm to the setup.config uh, style after that is merged. And then we'll merge these. Um, Okay, great. Um, and so then how was that sort? You were working on a source as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Anything, so, yeah, did you want to talk about those source? What else do you want to talk about today, Natasha? Uh, no, no. Okay. Actually, I have just read the, uh, the, the source file that you... Uh, told me in the last meeting mm -hmm. uh, regarding the source. So I, I didn't get much time to okay. work on it. So cool, cool. I'll work on it. Sounds good, sounds good. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then that was the, um, um, yeah, okay. We, we, we went over that one. What was that one? Uh, yeah, because uh, it took one day to reply for the H2O guys, and then... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this... don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, let's see. So, we'll work on... Um, what? Uh, uh, gosh, darn it. It's HD... always escaped. HDF. HDF. Um, yep. Yeah. It's always... This, the name is always escaping me. All right. Um, okay. So, great. And then, yeah, let's and see. One, 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 yeah. one thing I just want to ask you. Uh, as in a proposal of GSOC, uh, I think you have created an issue regarding the hyper parameter tuning, right? Yeah. So, yep. In, in that case, what we are doing, uh, basically a grid search kind of thing or something else um, to tune the parameters. Well, I mean, so that's up to the proposal, right? Um, you, that's mm. sort of, you know, you need to propose what you're thinking there. Um, but the, the goal here, right, is to just, you know, you, this is yeah. This is all the stuff you need to propose. Um, and and I would talk to so talk to Yash more about this. Um, so he'll be a good contact on this. So mm -hmm. uh, talk to Yash. This. Uh, yes. um, so yeah. So just just I would say yeah. Point. I'm going to point you to Yash on that. Um, okay, anything okay. else? No, no thanks. Okay, great. So let's see. Um, oh, so Saksham, so colorization demo, I just wanted to say, um, is this guy, um, what is this? Oh, yeah, is this going to, is this, was this part of this? I just had seen this issue and I, I wanted to remind us that, um, you know, that we have this issue. Um, and, and I think you were going to deal with this as a part of that that uh, colorization demo, but I can remember. Uh, no, this is not a part of that uh, that demo. It's okay. a different issue. Okay, great. Okay, so let's just say no and some something. You know, this is a different thing. Okay, so and this is something that we were waiting on their type cat. You know, their type hints and stuff. Yeah, we and now they finally on, have it. Yeah, okay, great. Support that. So this is something that that can get 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 it can get done now. Um, yeah, know. it can get done pretty soon. I'll uh, I'll do this after the colorization demo. Okay, great. Yeah. So. Okay. So. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else you wanted to talk about today, Sakshan? 
No, I haven't uh, be, uh, got around that right, that's the fine. demo yet. Cool. All right, great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> busy, busy. Um, I think you uh, did. Did people have exams recently? I know. I talked to some people. Yeah, exams and yeah. some personal projects. Yep. Yep. So Sudhanshu, um, so I saw it. Let's see, I saw your message on Gitter. Um, I haven't gotten that. Uh, yes, I've actually updated that. Okay, great. Um, I'm, like I'm still facing some issues, so uh, I want you to look at. Okay, let's uh, see. If you can take a look at it. So, like, uh, can I like share my? Screen? Yes, please do. So is it visible? Yes. Yes. So, uh, so this was the test which I actually I have written to actually test if we can actually uh, initialize the uh, the scorer from the CLI part. Oh yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hadn't gotten the chance to get back to you on this. Yeah. So we had like a CLI dot RST file where we had to like write this snippet for uh, the scorer and we can like once we have initialized it we can use it uh, so I like I have written this test here but uh, the, the problem which I'm facing right now is like it is showing me that source is not loaded okay source is not loaded yes well and, hmm. okay uh, and I don't know like oh why why is it let's see so I'm gonna take a look here and then I'll um, point you where to, to where to put this let's see let me I'm, I'm taking a look at PR in a different window and then I will I will tell you where, where we should go here to um, so let's see so actually my PR is not updated with me okay um, okay let me just look at what it, what was there for a second here so test score test score okay so i think that um part of this is going to be okay. scores okay but we didn't okay and then we're sending the records there okay and the, the issue is what what did it say something about sources yes it said that uh, the, the source is not loaded okay source is not loaded the source is not loaded. Well, that's a bold um, claim, given that we sent the records um, themselves. So, <laughs> so I was actually thinking, like, do we have to send records like this here, or like there is some other way to do it? Because um, in the rules, what we are doing here is we are take so whatever we are getting, we will be getting here, right? Source context label. Mm -hmm. And actually, that error is actually coming from this method. Okay, so what's the what's the um, what's the um, um, what's the uh, uh, train method look like, or the predict uh, method? So because I think they should be the same sort of thing, right? Yeah. Uh, predict method it is actually different so like they have taken the the uh, ah. taking the JSON and they're actually converting it into a memory source. okay that's interesting and then okay. like we are trying to uh, get the model front. okay so let's take a look at that HTTP API documentation um, model train okay Okay, and so we send a post request with the body being the training data set. Yeah, I think this goes back to sort of what we were talking about here. Okay, yeah, so and this is it's expecting and it's expecting the body of the post request to be a a an array with source labels, source context labels. Only predict actually accepts features to be posted to it, which I think this is sort of like what we were talking about, where this is obviously just doesn't make any sense. So 
what we need to do is we need to eventually switch to something that would allow us to instantiate these things, you know, like in so the sources and uh, scores and, and labels or, and uh, sources, the models and sources and scores on the fly by posting them all within the request body. Um, but I think that, that, you know, yeah, because right now it's, it expects that you have a, a source context. Um, so what did the, what did the accuracy test look to used to look like, or what did, because was there a, was there a CLI test for accuracy or let's see, no, it was sort of, it was probably just a, um, let's see, we had one that was, what? I think so. We didn't have like tests for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It looks like there was a predict, but there was no accuracy. Yeah. Okay. And so you copied the predict one. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. So I see the accuracy. Met. Okay. So this is the same as the predict, the, the test for test models. Um, but we removed the accuracy method and we just did prediction. So I think what, what you need to do is you need to send, um, let's see, do we have a source configured here? Um, so like what I was thinking, maybe we can like use this. Ye then use this and yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just, is just, like saying to my source yep the... that sounds perfect yeah and then i think that will be the only element in the array yeah and, and obviously i don't think this makes sense you know i don't think that that the way that we're doing this here really makes sense i think that the way that that your test is written makes way more sense um and that we should you know probably move to that but we have i think we have that documented that we're going to refactor the http api um yes. Because that, you know, obviously we found out here that this doesn't really make much sense. So, um, let's see. Um, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so I don't think we have that. So I'm going to create a new issue right now, and we're going to track that. Um, okay, great. So, yeah, let's, let's change it um, so you see how we should change it, right? Okay, yeah, so we'll modify it to basically, you know, copy the source instantiation and then send an array instead of the records and we'll send, you know, the, the contents of the array will be the the, uh, the the source context label. So, all right, so let me write that down. So, uh, we... We're posting perfect. showing that it is unhashable type list. Oh, because you have a, a set, you say you have a, you have a, a brackets around the JSON or the, around the list. So you have a JSON equals open bracket or open um, uh, curly brace and then bracket. So Let's say like just an array. So just uh, replace that with a, um, so yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's see. No such feature ants. Okay, so let's see, did we write out the file name? Let's see, what did we write into the file? So, this is what we were writing. Oh, I think so we need we to, have to like add. we need to, um, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, you need to add the, 
And then I think obviously we should probably write a few of these. So we probably need to do for range, um, you know, X in or for where's that? Where's that scroll up here? So let's just scroll up for a second. So scroll up until we get to the test models um, area. OK. Um, yeah, here. So that accuracy method, let's copy that that call to or so. Yeah. So you see that for loop within the accuracy. We have a generator there. And we're generating, you know, all of those dictionaries with X and the answer. So yeah, let's yeah. let's basically copy copy from here um, and and make a for loop and and you know throw all that stuff and save all those basically. I think we can basically actually we can copy that whole line and just pass that to save. I think it accepts a, a generator object, although we'll we'll turn it into a record. I believe. Does it do that? I think. Well, let's find out. Over here, right? Um, yes, yeah, so wait a second. So let me just look. So DFML high level. So save calls. Okay, now save does not do the uh, records thing. So you have to. I was just. Okay, yeah, so we have to do. Um, let's see. So yeah, right. So this is, this is basically. We can do star array and then say record, um, and I think you need four. Okay, so we need to we need to write this as so so go to let's see go to line uh, three um, three twenty four. So go to line three twenty four and then make a new line after that, or copy paste that line, that save line. Yeah, and then uh, let's write let's write this here. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to call save and we're going to pass it a bunch of records, right? So remove my record <clears throat> from this line on. We're editing, so we'll edit the line on on. Sorry, we'll we'll edit the line on on uh, three twenty six. So remove my record, and now basically we're going to pass this generator object. Right, and we're going to generate a bunch of uh, records, right? Um, so that star, um, that star array thing. So we can copy this, and then we'll change instead of yielding. So that's a generator that yields a bunch of, you know, a bunch of dictionaries. And so we're just going to basically uh, say, you know, um, you know, that is data equals features, and then that thing, you know, that thing that we would be you know, would have passed to accuracy here, it now becomes the features um, dictionary. So it's data equals, so as you see the record definition, we're basically going to copy that record definition where it has F1, you know, whatever that's going to be, you know, that dictionary is going to be you now this dictionary here. Um, the dictionary that's within features within the data dictionary. So yeah, so if you copy basically like from the colon after features all the way through record and then paste it. Um, or sorry, the other direction. So the colon after features. Um, sorry, I mean, meant go, go left towards the record. So copy from the colon left. That's okay. All right, here. Let's just write it here. Let's just write it. Um, so, so go down and put your cursor like between the the um, you know after the star. So on line three twenty six, um, after the star. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then go over two, and so now what we're doing. So what we're doing here. So go to the right two. All right. So now what we're doing here is we want to pass to the save function this you know this these 10 records right and and we want to expand it by using that star right so we're as if we passed each record individually right so, but we're going to generate them all with this statement so we create it you know so we so we want to make this a record class right yeah and then we're going to need you know we need a key for it so we're going to change that range function to a enumerate 
uh, a call to enumerate and then pass range to enumerate. So enumerate, so yeah, we'll change it to enumerate, open paren, range. Yeah, okay, so now, and then add a paren at the end here. Yeah, okay, so now we have four i comma x. Yeah, cool. And so now, and then we just can do stir i as the key. So we pass, you know, the we can pass I or I mean, I think tec technically everything's supposed to be a uh, uh, a string. Um, so stir I, yeah, right. So the string of I, and then comma data equals features. And then this is the features. Yeah, sweet. And so now we've just generated all these records. So I think that you need your, um, I think that you want to add bracket after the MX plus B. Um, I think you want to do a closed curly brace after MX plus B. And then you need a um, closed paren. Um, sorry, after MX plus B here. Yeah, so you have answer equals M times X plus B. And, uh, and so, so after that bracket, or after that curly brace, um, right after the B, yeah, you need another, you know, in curly brace and then another uh, in paren, right? Yeah, cool. Right. So you do you see what's going on here? Right. So we go through and we generate a record for, you know, for each for each instance of this, uh, you know, for, from from 10 to 19. We're going to run that equation, make that the, the, the body. Uh, you know, that's the feature data. And so this will just save all those records. And now we should have what we need here. The only other thing, yeah, okay, so I can see 0.0. All right, well, is this to be expected? Let's see, what are we doing? Are we using MSC? Yeah, nice. Yes. All right, great. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Okay. So, okay, so then the last thing is, yeah, so let's let's go through and uh, um, let's make sure we add this, you know, just I think the, the HTTP service is such its own beast that, that, that I wanted to say the last thing in this is we should add that to that API page and I'll post a link to that API page here um, so um, we should we should modify this so let me post it into Gitter um, I think this is the last part of this so uh, last part of this PR should be to update the accuracy um, to the API documentation. Uh, and that way we just keep all, oops. We keep all the, uh, we keep all the HTTP, the HTTP stuff is so easy to get out of sync. All right, so I posted it in Gitter. Um, but basically, this the, the page on the docs. Um, it has it all posted here in the um, in the meeting too. You can open this up here. Can you open up this link in the meeting so that everybody can see sort of um, what we're looking at here?
Yeah. Okay. So, and this is how I figured out what the diff what the deal was. Um, cool. All right. So, um, anything else on this one? I think if we update this, then I think we're on to basically updating the you know the random stuff here and there. Um, was the last one, right? Which is the the documentation and everything else that needs to be updated to work with all these accuracy scores. Oh uh, yes. Did you have any sort of questions, comments, concerns going forward? I think we're, we're into the final phases here. So, so I think uh, what we now need to do is probably like merge them. Mm, yeah, yeah, we do need to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's actually, it's probably time to do that. Um, so let's see. Um, and how did, how did I, let's see, I had a way that was sort of, seemed like it might be reasonable. Um, yes, yeah, so the last phase was actually to uh, update yep. the docking. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, and maybe we should maybe we should throw in and the merge first, right? Because we want to update the merge. We want to update the document. There's been more documentation added in between this. So, so let's see. Um, okay, so last step. Update. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay. So phase seven becomes uh, merge master branch changes. Okay. And Okay, one second. This is phase six. I'm sort of going through and, and seeing what happens here. Is this okay? Any R model? Where is this Q, transforms QA update accuracy method? Okay, I went to do a rebase to see what the hell is going on. Um, let's see. Um, both modified. Both added. Okay, what was this? Oh, okay, this is the changes to output. Um, hmm. So here's the way that I'm that I that I'm doing. I think that that is the way to do this. Um, so basically, this isn't okay. I think this is not as bad. As, I think I did it the wrong way first. All right. So the, here's the way that I that I went and did this this time. So and I'll, I'll link to the issue. Um, okay. Let me present here. So, um, okay. So this is phase seven. This becomes phase eight.
Oops. All right, so phase eight is essentially just do, or phase seven is do the rebase. Um, March. Um, well, I would like to do a rebase because, so when you do a merge, okay, when you do a rebase, it preserves all of these beautiful commits that you've made um, and all of our history. And you've done a great job of making this very, um, you know, You've done a great job of making this understandable um, and and easy to review. Um, and so we're about to get a massive. If we if we merge, we get the we get the commits, but it just doesn't. The history doesn't go quite as nicely together. If we do a rebase, the history will will make more sense when we look at the changes. Um, so i'd like to do a rebase since this is such a giant um change um so here's here's the steps that i think i did so basically get um batch origin um so we will okay so first we will uh first we'll merge phase six um into accuracy staging okay then we'll um um okay first we'll merge phase six into extra staging um you'll uh pull down origin yeah so you get fetch origin um and then get checkout dash p phase seven um origin slash Accuracy staging, um, and then I believe get rebase uh, origin master. Okay, yeah, get rebase origin master. Okay. Um, let me just take a look at this real quick. Okay, let me present from this screen. Um, all right, just so you guys can see what I'm looking at. We might also like have to uh, remove the, the cherry picks. Yeah. Oh, that was some, that was the other thing, huh? Yeah. We yeah. Just put in the rebase, we will have to like remove them. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, because the cherry picks will make it, it will probably get confused. Will it get confused? Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Um, okay. And what was this one? Going, what was going on here? So. Okay. So last commits. Pick, pick, pick. Okay. Next commits. One hundred and sixty-three for me. Um, okay. Twenty-three done. Okay. Uh, okay, transformers. Where are we here? Master CLI. Accuracy new plugin type. Silence so get calls. Okay. Samples accuracy transformers QA. Okay, so what happened here? Accuracy staging. Okay, we're along accuracy staging. Um, um, origin master. Okay. So here's master. Okay, so and then I went and I grabbed accuracy. St yeah, I grabbed accuracy staging. And we started rebasing. Okay, we got to this Transformers one. Okay, so we're applying. Yeah, we're applying all. Yeah, the rebase applies all your patches on top. And so it basically goes through and cherry picks every patch. Um, and now we're here. And let's see, unmerge past script stock here. Okay, and we deleted. Yeah, that script stock's chair. So anytime you would maybe. I don't know why you would have touched script stocks care, but that's interesting. Okay, so I think you're going to go through and you're basically going to say, um, 
And why the hell is that going on there? DFML plugins. Model X super spacey Delphi. Model auto SK learn. Okay. Yeah, what is going on here? Um, I think does this have to do with the cherry pick? Do you think this has to do with the cherry pick? These I, I think this see. output directory stuff does, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's because we hadn't gotten let's see. Had we not hmm. Um I mean, yeah, okay. So I think you'll okay. Give this a shot. Um, I think you and I are pretty much going to have the, the an equal equal equally um, equally hard time with this. Um, and I think that you know if, if you if you can't if you if you if you get stuck, let me know. Um, otherwise, yeah, if you get stuck anywhere, just let me know because I think this is just going to be you know a mess um, because that's just what it is, right? Um, let's see what what happens if we get a rebase. Abort. Yeah, what happens if we merge? I really want to keep the rebase history, but get okay. So I merged in the phase. Um, I merged in the phase um, seven changes. So get, and now we're on actually staging. So yeah, fetch origin. Check out actually staging. Rebase in master. So what happens if we merge in master? Okay, we end up with this giant mess. Um, yeah, because we're going to end up with this stupid merge commit, which is going to be a disaster. Um, so we can't do that. Yeah, we can't do the merge. Okay. So, yeah, so I will try to go with the rebase. And yeah. Let you know how to... Try to go with the rebase. Uh, okay. Maybe try to figure out what, you know, you might want to... Okay, so let's see. Um, you know, maybe we should say identify uh, where... Uh, cherry picked patches um so we're not sure if we need to do this uh, but it could be helpful um we may want to look through the log to see which um commit messages are in both branches um, let's see. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to go. Um, not sure. Yeah, not sure if anybody could be helpful. If necessary. Yeah, I'm not sure how helpful that's going to be because I think the thing is, right, we cherry pick those patches. Um, okay, yeah, so we cherry pick those patches. And then, you know, our changes are obviously relative to the cherry pick patches. So we may need to go through. So, so, um, okay, let's see. I think this might belong here. So we check out this branch. We're not sure if this would be helpful, right? But we look, um, drop the cherry picked picked commits from this branch um, then rebase I think I think this might be what you want to do here because um, I think if you drop the commits it might rewrite things um, so that it merges or that it rebases more cleanly um, but I'm not sure um, so this is All right, but as I said, you know, we'll we'll be in this headache together. So let me know how it goes. <laughs> yep, I'll let you know. Cool. All right. Anything from anyone else? Uh, that's it from my side. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you, everyone. Yep. Thanks. And I hope you all have a uh, great rest of your evening and. Uh, I'll uh, talk to you all next week. Okay. Yep. Bye. Yep. Bye. Yep.